Okay. In this video, we'll see how to configure or how to proceed with initial NetScaler setup and licensing. NetScaler licensing based all on a MAC address. And once you get NetScaler up and running, all you have to do, you have to get the MAC address and go back to your email where you have the Citrix, Citrix have sent you a license key. Then you have to go to your Citrix portal and use that license key and the MAC address to generate a license file. And once the license file has been generated, you have to download that license file and upload to your NetScaler. So this way the NetScaler will know that it's licensed and in case of the, and that license file is required every time the NetScaler starts up. If we did not find the license file, then it will consider it, uh, itself unlicensed. So let's proceed with all this. Okay, I'm on my domain controller, and now what I would like to do, uh, I will hit the Google Chrome, and I would like to type IP address 10, 10, 10, 200. This is the IP address of uh, my NetScaler that I've assigned to uh, assigned previous video. And username and password, and root, and root. And yeah, the startup screen appears. As you can see on the top, it's NetScaler VPX1. It indicates that it's not licensed. It's still running without a license file. And this is the configuration that we did through the command line. The NetScaler IP or NZIP, which is 10, 10, 10, 200. The second step is to assign a SNP or subnet IP address. So that's what I'm going to do. And what subnet IP address here? There's an explanation. Subnet IP address always is used to establish a connection to your service. The NetScaler opens a connection to the server, your internal server or service. Source address is the SNP. Destination is your server ID. When server send the response back, the source ID will be of course a server ID and destination will be SNP. And then NetScaler will respond back with the source IP of WIP to the client. So some IP, I would say 10 dot 10, 10, let's say 200, done, because that's the IP that belongs to the subnet where my resources of servers slash services are. And here I can specify host name might be in the same time zone. That's fine. Host name I would say NS1. Tab DNS IP address would be 10, 10, 10, 100. Time zone, I would say. Here, it's really Sydney done, and now <coughs> it requires a reboot. I would say yes. Go ahead, and while it runs its reboot, we will get the MAC address and that will be license or upload the license. So I'll say reboot now, and meanwhile, while it will take a time to reboot, I will pause the video and be back shortly. 
Okay, the net scaler is back. The next thing we need to do is to get the, uh, the back address in order to generate the license file. So I will move to the console and log in as M3 and shell. The command will be license manager or LM utility and LM host ID. I am writing correctly. Minus okay, And here, it's pro it provided me the MAC address. The FlexNet host ID of this machine is this one. All I had to do just write down this address, and this MAC address and the key, the the, the license key. Is the both information uh, the both information I need to generate the license file. So in my case, uh, how to generate the license file is the same process, relatively the same process, like you generate the license file for your Zen desktop or your Zen. The difference here, here you generate the license file of that scalar based on the MAC address. That's it. In my case, to save the time. I have already generated the license file and downloaded it from Sigmund. So let me just license file. I'll click, I would say upload from a local computer. This is the license file that I downloaded from Sigmund. Okay, license updated successfully, and it's asking for reboot again. I don't mind. Say reboot, and I will pause the video again, and I will be back shortly. And here you go. I'm back to 10, 10, 10, 200 or NS1, and as you can see, everything is licensed. License type is platinum. All features are enabled, and if you see on top. It's now changed from VPX1 to VPX1000. Great. It means my net scaler is licensed, which is a great news for me. And here, as you can see here. Awesome. So we have licensed the net scaler and we have did initial configuration. Now we will move to more serious business.